Hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install vanilla Minecraft in the Twitch launcher. Okay, and by vanilla Minecraft, I mean with no mod loader, no forge or no fabric, which fabric is a whole other different thing in Twitch, but no forge for sure. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to our mods tab here in the Twitch launcher and we want to create a custom profile. All right. Select the version of Minecraft that you want from the list. I'll select 115.2 uh, and then we could just name our profile, whatever. I'll name it 115.2. And then under the mod loader drop down here, we want to select none at the top. All right. So none. So when I create this profile, it will be vanilla Minecraft. All right. So when I open it, there will be no forge. So if I launch it and hit play, then it will be a completely vanilla version. Of course, this is the native launcher here uh, and you'll need it set up and 115 downloaded and all that kind of stuff. But when you hit play and it launches, then it will be uh, the vanilla Minecraft with no mod loader. Okay, now while it does that in the background, I'm gonna show you one kind of weird thing about this is that if I go to the gear icon here at the top right, and I choose profile options. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the launch. Uh, it's working. Then it will show that Forge is in the drop down here. All right, and there is no option in this drop down for uh, the none, but it doesn't seem to matter if that's done or not. If I hit OK, it, it doesn't make any difference. All right, it's not going to install Forge apparently from here. How you can tell that is you can go to the open folder, all right, and inside the Twitch profile, uh, we did get a launch. All right, turn down the music. And so we got a launch there, all right? So that has no forge or anything in it. That's pure vanilla Minecraft, all right? But here in the profile folder for Twitch, for the profile that we created, there is a file called Minecraft instance.json. Now you need a JSON editor assigned, but open it basically in a text editor. You know, Notepad is good. I'm using brackets here. But at the top, it's going to say base mod loader null. Now, if you had Forge installed, it would list the Forge version in here. But as long as it says base loader null, base mod loader null, then it's not using any mod loader at all. So you could edit it to say null if you wanted to do that to get rid of that forge version or whatever, or just to check like we're doing here. So guys, that's it. That's how you install a base mod loader or, or install a vanilla Minecraft without a mod loader. Uh, just this weird thing that it'll show a forge listed, but it won't actually have a forge. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Short, simple, and sweet. Please leave a like. And I thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. This is Scott Omato. Bye-bye.